For quite some time, I've been trying to get into mobile development, but I never found it as accessible as web development, for example. When I tried out learning Swift, I found it incredibly difficult. Honestly, when I see the code like that, I feel like I'm too stupid for Swift. But I always wanted to give it another go because honestly, I find the idea of app development just so incredibly cool, right? To be able to think up something in your head and then make it available on all mobile devices is just something that, that seems incredibly interesting to me. So I want to learn this properly. And the technology I'm going to be using is Flutter. And I already have the sticker of this <laughs> incredibly cute mascot that will not make it onto my laptop before I have an app release on both the app and the Play Store. So this series will be all about me learning Flutter and building real world projects. And the very first app that I'm going to be starting on today is a very, very simple app called Breakdown because what it's supposed to do is just break down events, milestones and so on over time. In other words, if I say I want to go on vacation in three months, it should tell me how many days until I go. If I want to say I want to go run a marathon in a year from now, it can tell me how many training sessions do you have left until race day, stuff like that. So I just need a very simple user interface to input events, update them, and then be able to track them over time. That's it. And then from there, <laughs> and then from there, we're going to be continuing building more and more complex apps in this series. On we Gigi. Getting started though was a lot harder than I thought and creating a first project in a new language or any kind of new framework is always a reality check. I'm going to create my custom unit event. So this is the class, I guess, initializing it. But then why is there a space here, then a colon? Like what is, what even, what, e <laughs> what even is this? I'm just being dumb, look, but, um... Oh, hello, amazing. What, what the hell was, what was I doing before? That was a great start to my first Flutter experience. Um, I think I'm just being dumb tonight, so it's okay. I will continue building this beautiful application tomorrow. So let's um, let's be honest. Yesterday, yesterday was not good. Um, yesterday was like coming back to Flutter after you know not having looked at it for like a month, and I saw how annoying it already was. To set everything up. I think it took me like forty-five minutes until I actually had an application running that I could make changes to and then see those changes immediately reflected. What I'm going to do tonight is just build out some of the logic as far as I can. Don't worry about the design, but just have a general structure that already works. The app again is so simple that with the help of ChatGPT, um, with the help of ChatGPT, I should be able to do it. So at that time, I was still relying heavily on ChatGPT, more so than on my own brain. which ultimately was the problem in me not making any progress. This is worse than yesterday, almost. Because like an hour ago, I was sitting there and I was like, this is going to be good. You know, I'm really excited for this because I can finally write my code and stuff. <laughs> and then this is what I have. <laughs> and I'm honestly proud of this. Not proud of, no, I'm not proud of it. I'm happy that at least this is now there. The thing is, every time I learn something new, every time I go at it with like some sort of arrogance where I'm like, oh, I'm going to be fine. You know, I've coded now this many years in JavaScript and Python and blah, blah. And then I have these very humbling moments where it's like, wow, nothing works. And this is so frustrating. Mm. And just now, like trying to debug this with ChatGPT was just the worst, literally the worst. So far, everything that I've seen of Flutter seemed very intuitive. Like it doesn't have weird syntax. Like it seems very similar for me to JavaScript, like all the functional bits. But what I really don't like so far is that you have to use Material UI, which I just really don't like. But yeah, this was, um, this was again, a very humbling experience. Yesterday I could, you know, yesterday it was like, oh, 
you know, I haven't set this up properly, but today was literally like, I can't code for shit. <sighs> this is when things started getting better. I realized how much I relied on ChatGPT before and how that's not great when you're trying to learn something new. Instead, this time I decided to just use the most basic building blocks that I was already familiar with and then build on top of that. That was the idea, or as I put it so eloquently, and that's it. And then this year I will populate with my cards and my cards right now, fuck it. If they look like this, they look like this. I'm going to show you what I've done, although it's not, <laughs> it doesn't look like a lot. So right here, what I have on the screen is my app, right? And actually pretty much everything you see here I've built in the last, I don't know, one and a half hours. So we have now a header here that I've generated. It shows you the time or the date rather. Below that, you're going to have a calendar and then you're going to have the upcoming milestones as like cards if i can show you here as well right this is the stuff that i want to <laughs> this is the stuff that i want to build it's my first app okay my first app and it will be fantastic now the thing is or the thing that i was working on the most just now was me trying to figure out how can i add data to this and so if you click on this plus button here beautiful uh you go to another page which <laughs> again it feels so silly, to, like it feels so stupid to demo this because obviously this is not an amazing progress. But for me, it's really cool because I feel like, okay, now I'm getting a little bit the hang of Flutter. And all of those things are sort of the building blocks of also the bigger applications, right? So bear with me. And one of those building blocks is data and state management. I wanted to pass the data between the different screens and then add actions so that I could change the data which would then in turn change the user interface. So this is the first, the first demo where I have the very much baseline functionality built. I haven't tried this out at all. So if I put in now first demo and I say submit, ah. this took a few more tries because state management is just not that easy. Second demo, I guess. Especially if you do it for the first time in a new framework. Okay, so that doesn't work. So this is the third demo. And that looks good. One element in the list. And now if I go back, okay. So here it hasn't updated. But eventually, as with everything in programming, you'll figure it out. First demo of new. Okay, nothing should have happened here if I go back. Ah, beautiful. Okay, so that's great. That's honestly great. That is the majority of the logic that I wanted to do is done. Which meant I could finally move on to saving the data to local storage, for which I'd need to have some kind of database solution. And after struggling with state management for so long, I could not wait to get started with this challenge. So... I'm going to make a strategic decision here now and go to sleep. The day of the nap, I was just exhausted. And one thing I've learned over the years is that if you're doing something complex or new, it's usually not a good idea to do it while you're sleepy. So now coming back to it a few days later, I created the app logo using Midjourney and I added the local Hive database for the data storage. And this time it went a lot smoother and a lot quicker. What helps me a lot right now is that every evening I'm basically watching Flutter tutorials. Just um, watching other people build stuff and then very often what happens is that a lot of the stuff that they want to do, I want to do similarly here. So I feel like I'm moving at a slightly faster pace, but already working <laughs> working with this code base is quite annoying because just so many stuff, like so many things are not set up properly and all of that. But that's the thing, like every time you learn something completely new, your first few projects will just suck. That's, that's just what it is.
Ah, uh, no, because when I click on it, it deletes. Oh, that sucked. Anyway, it doesn't matter. What I was going to say is I'm starting to have a bit of fun with it. Um, it's really... I feel like I'm getting a little bit more into Flutter. I haven't touched this now in a few days. But getting back to it, I feel a bit more confident about what I'm doing. And also at the right moment where... Or like in a, in a right space where I can actually go to ChatGPT and say like, okay, this is what I want to do. And then I can do most of the work on my own though. So I feel like I'm learning, which is great. Honestly, at this point though, it's not enough. The app took me way too long. So I just want to be done with it, which was the goal for the rest of the day. And there wasn't that much left to do. Just making my custom events display properly and then being able to update them. We want to see it update. If this works, we're so close to finishing this app. Fuck. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck. Once that was figured out though, I just had to add the functionality to delete events and then pull the app onto my actual phone to be able to do a real life demo. On my screen here, I'm gonna click run and debug. And so what should happen here is that this app opens. Okay, and the app launches. So this is already really cool, right? It works, it works on my phone. Um, and I can now add, I don't know what I have in my phones. All right, let's do one of GG. Okay, cool. Um, I don't know what it's going to be. It will be whatever. And then a date, and let's say this is the 20 February next year, like this. And I submit and there we go. Okay, so that works. Now let's let's do one where I have a custom unit. I'm gonna do this GG picture. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll do the run one, okay? So 100 runs and what's the unit? It's going to be a run and the desired amount is 100 and the current amount is we're starting at zero. And I don't have a way of discarding my keyboard, which is obviously stupid, so I have to add that as well. But I can submit that and then you see here that I now actually have that card here as well. If I want to say, okay, well, my whatever, I don't really need that, I can delete that, which is also working. So the functionality is all there. Um, this is, I mean, let's be honest here, right? It's a shitty app. <laughs> but this is, this is sort of the point of learning, right? I mean, I spend... I'm gonna check this, I'm gonna put it below here, like how many hours this application took me. And it will be like an amazing, insane amount. Like if I had to guess, probably like 30 or 40 hours. Like imagine how much, if I'm freelancing, how much money that app costs basically in my time. So I built an ugly app. <laughs> I built an ugly app over a long period of time, but I'm still happy with it. Like this will forever be the first app I built in Flutter. And hopefully when I come back to this in like a year from now, I'll look at this and I'll be like, okay, that was shit. <laughs> that was shit. But it was the starting point of, of the journey of actually learning mobile development, which will be cool. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this shows you a little bit of like, you know, how it actually is to learn new frameworks, how it is to learn new technologies, even though I've been coding for now almost seven years, six and a half years, right? New technologies don't come easy to me. This is a lot of work. And just for that, I'm going to be using that application, but <laughs> not for much else. I hope I see you in the next one.